is uh, almost like a magical device. This allows us to take the vehicle and have it behave like an open differential or a fully locked differential uh, within fractions of a second. We can uh, go from, uh, there's a clutch here, and with this clutch application, it has its own unique controller. It has its own hydraulic circuit that is again run up through the uh, transmission oil cooling. And we can go from zero to 2,000 newtons of clutch preload, meaning that we can open the diff up, all right, and allow you to uh, not transfer torque to that side, or we can clamp it down and allow you to have maximum exit speed in the corner, putting the, t the torque to the tire that's on the ground with the greatest contact uh, patch force. And so this helps steering response for light uh, steering maneuvers, for even more aggressive maneuvers. When you lift off, we're able to transfer torque to the opposite wheel so we can get maximum acceleration. And it allows you to exit a corner at speeds you wouldn't have otherwise because we can put the torque where it needs. Yesterday, one of the uh, journalists asked, well, you know, why aren't you doing brake bias torque vectoring? Um, if you think about it, the, the fact that it's brake biased and brake driven, it means that it's braking or slowing you down to add vehicle stability. Now, it's a tool that works and it adds stability, but it doesn't add maximum acceleration and power. With this device, by not relying on the brakes just for that stability, but by relying on the ELSD, I can use power to stabilize it. So I can add power to the wheel that is capable of straightening the vehicle out, as opposed to using the brake and taking power and taking acceleration away from you. This is a faster and a more driver-friendly approach to um, stability control than just the, the brake bias methods. Thank <laughs> you.